Well, this review is going to be short. So, this is the next Star Wars Black Series review, and I'm going to just get right into it so I don't waste time. This is bullcrap. Until hopefully something comes up where I can clean out so much stuff. That I can have... Okay, that's going to bother me. Yep. So this is the First Order Jet Trooper that you saw in the last review for a split second and I really like this figure it's really neat but we'll look at the box first I'm gonna actually properly look at the box because the last review I didn't normal box you get to see a shade of the figure you get the name Star Wars the side the name the other side you got the number which is 99 and the back you got another picture with a pile that says first order jet troopers specialized stormtroopers of the first order Jet Troopers soar into the battle, equipped with agile rocket packs. So here he is. Uh, he's very similar to like the f the snow tr first order snow trooper and flame trooper. It seems to be that if it's like a completely different trooper, that like it had, it seems to be similar. Whereas if it's just a storm trooper, it's fine. Like, um, uh, like th this helmet in some ways like really to all of them. Like, the First Order Stormtrooper, what I'm saying is that their helmets have, like, better eye, bigger eye holes, whereas, like, the others just have these, like, slits. So, we get to looking at his one accessory, which I'm not looking forward to getting out because it took so long to get it in. But, hopefully, because I had it in there for a while, it actually opens up. This shotgun-type looking blaster that has three barrels, so... That's why I'm thinking it's kind of like a shotgun type blaster. It's a standard paint, white on black with some silver. Very nicely painted though. He still has, I think, it's probably this is because of reuse, but he still has a slit to put like this in. So I guess maybe if you have like an extra first order stormtrooper pistol, you could still put that in there if you really wanted to. Because this does not have anything that could hold on to. But I'm going to... Forgive me, but I'm going to uh, put this back in if this takes a while. It didn't. Thank you. I guess it'll be tough to put in the first time. But afterwards, it'll have a space for it to do that. So, here we'll take a close look at the figure. So, the helmet, like I said, I can't really show you, but like, I don't have the flame trooper, but I have the snow trooper. And this almost looks like a snow trooper without the little like things in the back but yeah so there's that helmet and then you have on the chest he has whatever in whatever star wars language there is and then there's a symbol here probably maybe it's like the air corps like this might be like the air force or something of the part of the air force for the first order you know what i'm saying like because like each like how in real life, like a lot of militaries have their own, like their own military branches has their own symbol. Maybe that's what this is for. It's mostly white on black. Nothing really too big of a difference. Except for this big old thing on the back. That has, you can't take this off. You have like, oh, you know, the, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a thing to kind of like push this off. So it can fly. And these are the vents here. This is where this actually comes out. I'm pretty sure. There's some other vents on top here. Got the usual belt and the usual legs. There's really nothing too new about this figure. So, he just looks really cool and I'm excited. We actually did get to see him in the trailer for a brief second. I think it was the one that was called Duel. And... They were like, it was an, another one of the scenes where like they're on that speeder and there's another speeder that like, as soon as you saw that speeder, it blew up right away, but it had a first order stormtrooper, but then it had him on the back. So my guess is, is that we'll probably see a scene where these guys like launch off from the back of speeders and chase after them, which would be really nice. But let's get into the articulation because they only have some more, so much minutes left. So he has a neck joint and a ball hinge. And so he can look up that far can look down that far and bro he can tilt very back and forth his shoulders go out that far 
He's got a single Jordan elbow with a swivel. It goes in that far. This one has an up and down movement with the swivel. This one has an in and out movement with the swivel. This ab crunch can go in that far. It can go back that far. Move side to side. His legs can kick out that far. Can kick out that far. He's got an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed legs. And he's got an ankle that goes down. Goes up. He's got an ankle pivot. And you already saw the... The only other Star Wars figure I have here is the Cara Dune, and you already saw the comparison between the two on height. So, yeah. And I'm sorry this review is rushed, but there's not much for this figure to review, and plus I only have so much minutes. So, uh, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this figure. I really like this figure, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.